little bit where I thought, um, wow, I'm I'm the most veteran guy on this line right now, and um, these guys have barely started. And it's something that Deion Grant came to the hotel and said to us um, was, if one of your guys goes down, that means you have to step up for him. He said his pick versus Florida, the famous one he had, the corner fell on the route, and he had to make up for it. So knowing that, you know, I saw Jay Sean go down, I saw Matt go down, and these new guys come in, so I said, all right, I'm going to have to step up. I'm going to have to protect Dobbs as well as I can. And I told Coach Debo, I said, hey, give Chance all the chip help from the backs. I'll take it on my own because, I mean, he's the one who needs it. So I'm just trying to put everything on my back and, and, and be able to lead the team. For that to happen against a defense like this, too, with those in those three dynamic outside linebackers they have, the pass rush they get. I mean, how how tough of a situation is that to have to go? You know, you're you're that young and having you know, some of those kids having to protect Josh. I mean, I can't imagine uh, what was going through their minds of you know just having me throw in the game and then hold their own versus really good guys. Um, you know, just try to keep them positive and, and, and whatever happens, you know, snap it clear. You know, be able to bounce back if 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 you do give up a sack, if you. You know, mess up on a run play. It's okay. The game's not over, which is, I mean, what happened. I mean, we were down, and you had to think of it. The game's not over. I mean, we still got 60 minutes. So, what was the attitude of the sideline when you guys were that far down a game that you Well, as an offense, we knew they couldn't stop us. I mean, yeah, we fumbled on the one, and they took it back, but we took it 80 yards. And they, they didn't have an answer for the offense, so. That's the attitude we went out there with. Us. Hey, they can't, they can't stop us. We're, we're going to be all right. We're going to keep scoring. Um, as long as the defense stops them a few times, we're going to win this game. Kyler, how big was this win? How much did you guys need this win after the last few weeks and those three losses? <clears throat> I mean, it, it was huge. And, um, you know, we, we were having a lot of outside distractions. And, you know, people were, you know, saying we're done with the season. I mean, I saw stuff of people saying, oh, well. Two more losses in a row, um, and that's disheartening to see from fans uh, to not support us. But I mean, we answered. We were we were able to able to show that we're a really good football team. Did that anger or disappoint you guys? Did it motivate you guys? Um, not necessarily. I mean, I try not to let anything get to me. Um, but all I really wanted was to win this game for all my teammates. I mean, that was. That was the main point. It was it was one for those guys, Bar- not 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 anybody else. Barnett said this was like a get over the hump win. Does it have that kind of feel? Yeah, it really does. It, it, you know, it gives us confidence as a team. It lets us know, you know, we're good. We we really are. Um, you know, it just felt like everything was slipping away in those three losses, and it, you know, it's why us. Um, but this one really like changes your mindset as a player and lets you know that you know you're a really good team. If you, I mean, you guys mesh together really well, so I mean, this was definitely huge for us. You said that the offense was uh, unstoppable.